Well, do you ever wish you could go back in time? Well, you can when you visit Champaign County History Museum in downtown Champaign. The special venue is celebrating five decades. Here with more from The Vault, President T.J. Blakeman joins me. Great to have you here, T.J. Thank you so much for inviting us. Yes, and first of all, congratulations. What a milestone. Thank you. I mean, it, it, 50 years, it really is something worth celebrating. And, you know, we've done so much over the past decade to bring the museum to where it is today. It's a it's a fitting time to take pause and actually celebrate not just um, Champaign County's history, but the history of the organization itself. Yeah, so talk to me how you guys are celebrating. So we are, uh, we've organized a celebration. This whole week is our anniversary week. The official anniversary was Wednesday, but we're celebrating this weekend. We were supposed to celebrate on Saturday, mm -hmm. although we made the decision this morning, early this morning after looking at the forecast, to postpone okay. to Sunday. So for those of you who are planning to come out, um, you should come out on Sunday. The schedule will be the same. We still have our historic popcorn wagon. We are bringing back our lemon shake-ups oh, that fun. used to be at the Taste of CU. Um, we have two different history walks. Uh, that will be going on throughout downtown Champaign. One focused on the history of theaters in Champaign, and the other is just a general history of downtown tour with me. Um, and then we'll just have lots of fun and let people come in and see the, see the museum. So if they've ever driven past the cattle bank and yes. want to know what's inside, this is the perfect chance to stop in and see. And I do feel like it is missed that this is in Cattle Bank. People, I think, can miss that the fact that there's so much inside that building to see and experience and learn about our community. Well, thanks for that. I mean, a lot of people, if I ask anybody on the street, where's the Cattle Bank? Everyone knows. They all know. But <laughs> yeah. when I say, where's the Champaign County History Museum? Maybe not so much. Right. So we really want people to come inside our doors. Um, we have three rotating exhibit gallery rooms that are full of amazing exhibits, including one that won a recent award from the Illinois Association of yeah. Museums. And of course, they were kind enough to bestow on us the Small Museum of the Year here in the state of Illinois uh, just this year. So we are the Small Museum of the Year in Illinois, and that's also just um, very exciting for us and yeah. recognition of all the hard work that our volunteers uh, put into running the museum. Yeah, that's amazing that it's run by so many volunteers, so many hours go into that, and really that award is just the tip of the hat of all that work. Absolutely. When people come there, what are they going to experience when they walk in? I mean, it is an amazing um, how well it's done, but what? how would you describe that experience? Well, thanks. I mean, you walk in the door, we pack a lot into a mm -hmm. tiny space. You walk in, we have a gift shop, we have some really unique items that you won't find anywhere else in town, so if you have somebody that, you know, that special gift, you can find it at the museum. And then, of course, we have the three galleries downstairs, one on uh, photography and early Champaign County history, 1850s to 1910. Uh, we have an exhibit, uh, um, an art exhibit, uh, paintings by Marriage and Steve at Kinnego, which was a longtime so cool. uh, uh, owner of the News Gazette. Yeah. And then we have our exhibit on the Illinois Traction System. And we also have a research room where uh, you can look at our photo files or our family files, our subject files. And we have a, um, a full collection of News Gazette microfilm that you can search. So we have a ton packed into that tiny little cattle bank at First and University. And again, all of this really made possible by all those volunteers, as well as the community support to come see, come learn about our community. Even when I visited, I learned so much about the community that I was raised in. But let's talk, okay, one more time, details about the event. It was moved it was on to Sunday. Yes, it was supposed to be on Saturday. That is now on Sunday. So 10 a.m. on Sunday, we'll do a flag raising. The first tours leave the museum all day long. Every two hours, we'll have another tour leaving. We'll have all those events out in the parking lot and people can come inside and see the museum and hopefully become a member of the museum. That's okay. how we survive is through donation and memberships. And so we hope to, um, we hope that you like what you see and you decide to join us in strengthening the Champaign County History Museum. Schedule maybe a field trip or a trip Absolutely. with friends or family, all that good stuff. Well, a great event. I'm sure it's going to go very well. Do you need tickets, by the way? You do not need Okay, tickets. so just show up and enjoy it. There's a look at some of the information there on their website, how you can join the 50th anniversary celebration. We'll connect you uh, with all you need to know on Sia Living's Facebook page.